Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I couldn't stop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Drive. We have a wonderful Porsche Cayenne Turbo Coupe behind me in silver. It looks wonderful. We are in a we are in Germany and we're gonna try to drive as fast as we can. A lot of you have guessed how fast this car can go on Instagram. We need to find out for sure. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's look at it from the outside because I think it's very important to talk about the aggressive front. I mean, it looks absolutely ridiculous. It has very big air intakes to be able to cool the engine down. It has big rims, it has wide tires, it has big brakes for track use to break from 300 to zero if you need to. Wonderful lining. It shares the same platform with the Lamborghini Urus and the RSQA. So this very nice silhouette of the car and this big back is what you would expect from a Porsche. Sport exhaust system, carbon everywhere you look. It is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. I think it looks much better than the normal Cayenne. This coupe styling is just incredible. Let's look at it from the inside because it has a wonderful interior. As you can see, Alcantara steering wheel, leather parts, this middle middle piece of the of the beautiful seats is in a caro design. Everything looks very clean, everything is beautifully designed. And now let's start the car up so you can listen to that wonderful V8 sport exhaust system. Okay, people, this is what a launch control looks like. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas, performance start. <laughs> Holy moly! That is what I'm talking about. Since we are in Sport Plus, let's stay there. Holy shit. Let's go into manual mode. It is absolutely insane how crazy this car turns into a corner. And we are on the German Autobahn, so let's see. I think I'm going to soften the suspension a little bit, then today we are trying to beat 300. So I'm switching to normal mode because we are not currently at the unlimited speed sign but we're gonna be shortly let me talk about some facts we have 550 horsepower 770 newton meters of torque which is a lot a lot even by today's standards we are driving currently at 13.3 liters and we were pushing the car a little bit, doing launch control starts and everything, so that is very, very good. Let's switch to the left lane. All of those wonderful settings. It is very strange that you can drive such a big SUV like, like a sports car. It really is absolutely insane, but when you think about the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT and how fast it went on the Nürburgring track, I mean, it is faster than most of the sports cars today. Maestro Martin did an 8 minute in 2008. Imagine that. And the new Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT does a 7 minute and 30 seconds. I mean, that's faster than an M5, that's faster than an M4, that is faster than every sports car that you see in your daily, day to day drive. It is absolutely insane what Porsche is capable of doing. 2.2 tons, shares the same platform as the uh, Lamborghini Urus and the Audi RS Q8. So they all have the same platform, but this, this is the real deal. This is the Porsche experience. 
so let's see there is the sign that we can drive as fast as we want everything we we're doing here is legal so let's switch to sport I'm shifting manually let's switch to sport plus just soften the suspension a little bit okay now driving at 180 190 uh, feels like driving 120 kph if I'm honest I, I don't hear anything uh, everything seems pretty normal the glass is double glass watch out for the kamikaze polo in front of us with a big bump yeah maybe because you pull out of the right lane like you're in a kamikaze attack okay let me try this spore response 180 190 200 holy fuck okay people I am getting nervous because I, I know what is going to happen right now so I'm going to slow down to 120 and 100 and accelerate full speed okay third gear 140 150 160 170 180 190 200 210 220 230 240 250 holy fuck 260 270 holy shit Woo! <laughs> already on the front again 280 holy shit 290 Oh my fucking god, 295, holy fuck, holy fuck, what the fuck was that man, holy shit, oh my god man, <laughs> oh my god I got one of the most intense adrenaline rush ever, uh, what do you feel at those speeds? Well, you feel that the car is very heavy um, but it's stable though it is really not the... You, I, I wasn't scared as much as I thought that I would be but this was fucking insane I mean, come on what the hell was that, man? Okay, let me pause here we have to turn somewhere and get to the same lane again this is just fucking crazy I mean how can this shit be legal man just casually cruising at speeds like 200 250 I mean come on imagine coming here at night <laughs> you can just press the throttle through the through the bottom of the of the floor man 180 at two and a half thousand rpms I mean those transmissions are getting out of hand I just love how effortlessly the car accelerates okay let me press this sport response button 180 200 210 220 230 come on that is just that is just ridiculous a family SUV family car I wonder how many bars I think it's 0 0.9 bar that it produces on full throttle oh no it's 1.3 bars eh? that is it's just crazy I guess we got lucky at the first bit because now the traffic is getting out of hand and you can drive uh, 300 right now I mean look at this and especially going uphill the car won't do a 300 but I, I mean come on this isn't this 
isn't this insane we are we came to a place as humans where we build an SUV a family car that is supposed to go on gravel on every terrain you want and you can drive almost 300 with it almost 300 imagine imagine and Porsche Porsche tells you okay Porsche tells you you can only go 286 we managed to land at 296 so 10 kph more <sighs> holy fuck let's go to normal mode let's let the car cool off well it should be cool by now we are at 18.1 liter at 100 kilometers <laughs> of course we accelerated like crazy uh, but for the people that are interested in to know we can reset the settings and see how much it really consumes while driving casually 160 I'm driving 160 it shows me 11.5 liters well when you drive it normally you would do a 10.5 liter at 100 kilometers on the autobahn but that that is with 120 kph so that's pretty pretty good the price of the car is 110,000 Swiss francs for a used model so that's a pretty high price man but when you compare it to a Lamborghini Urus that cost you like 300,000 250,000 used and they share the same platform basically everything you have here well it's not the same the Euros has a lot of parts from Audi but I guess you should stay with the Porsche you really should stay with the Porsche they, they just know how to handle their shit one thing though one thing I have to talk about is the brake system Porsche has problems with the Cayenne Turbo ceramic coated brakes they, they are very squeaky you have to bring them to the Porsche dealer sometimes they uh, have to change uh, uh, like the inside of the brake so uh, that is not good but that's a problem out of the factory so make sure if you buy a car like this to go to the Porsche dealer and check that out but other than that I absolutely love this car it is incredibly incredibly wonderful to drive we have 8.8 .8 liter right now the technology is advanced you have a Apple CarPlay you have everything you need it is just a crazy crazy piece of mechanic engineering and I absolutely love it the back wheels they turn uh, up to 80 kilometers an hour I said in an other video before 60 kilometers I was wrong it's 80 kilometers and it is just crazy and wonderful to experience I think you got the message let's finish this and have a wonderful time see you on the next one goodbye